connected. Hey guys, Kuya Sid here along with Kuya Joe. And you got Ate Rose back there making some lumpia. Hey, you know what? Check this out. Kuya Joe has claimed that he has the perfect tool to make the perfect <laughs> steak. Now, I want you to know, inside this house, everything is controlled by <laughs> the phone. <laughs> Lights, TVs, cameras, actions, except my camera. <laughs> so anyway, check this out. We got He's dialing in a gadget. We're going to be cooking four New York, New York strip steaks. Yep. Utilizing this gadget right here. It's a Anova Precision Cooker. Now what that is, is I had no idea. I thought we were going to be putting this on a little, you know, skillet plate, you know. But we will. Well, we will. But he's actually going to boil this, or the steaks, inside this huge pan. Using this, uh, I guess, heating element, which really controls the, you know, the, the heat and the cooking. thing. Hey, there's a uh, Kui Bert. Yeah. Kui Bert. What's up? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're doing the wine thing up in here, man. The Kuya Nation's come, come ashore. So anyway, he's dialing that all in. Right now, the directions in here say one to four hours at 130 degrees. So again, he's setting this all up, uh, getting it dialed in. Yeah, I'm reading the recipe. Oh, and he's reading the recipe. Yeah, on the phone. Everything's done on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> so then, he's also got these beautiful, beautiful steaks. Check those babies out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> babies are awesome. Awesome, baby. So, and he's only going to be putting rosemary on that, so. Looking really good. It's like landing a 747. He's dialing this thing in for GPS coordinates, certain temperatures. He is actually lining up the moon right now. <laughs> Get this thing all set up. I know. This is this is tough. All right. So we're gonna let him dial that in. So this will be cooking. I'm gonna come back on when he spices this thing up, and then we're gonna put the put the uh, cows right into the water. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Okay. So we're coming back. Now we're yeah, prepping. Right this bad boy right there. He's getting that bad boy ready yeah. right there. What was the secret, Joe, that you said? The secret is, you know, to, after you clean it, just pat it dry, and then put the salt and pepper, or maybe follow the follow the instructions or whatever recipe that you like. You know, it's actually, there's no there's no rule. Whatever, however you want to marinate the steak, go for it. Just to make sure that you put it in the Ziploc bag and seal it tight before you yeah. put it in the water. That's the, that's the trick. Oh! Yeah, and um, so I'm going to use salt and pepper. I thought you were going to submerge it like without the, like, naked. Oh, no, no, you have, <laughs> you have to. have a plastic ziplock? Yeah, I have to, have, have to put it in the ziplock. Okay. Yeah, so what, you know, he's, you wash the steaks, dry them off, get them dry, nice putting on the salt. Yeah. Salt, pepper, you know, everybody out there has got their own version of doing this. But what we're, we're trying to do is find out if this is the perfect way to cook this. So it's tender, it's not overcooked, not undercooked, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so once we get it, every, use your own spice. Everybody's got their Montreal's or Denver's or Brazilian. Brazilians yeah. or Mexicans or Filipino. Filipinos. Oh, you know we don't know nothing about the Filipino ones, do we? Nah. <laughs> But he also went out and got fresh uh, rosemary out of the out of the yard. Of course, you know here in California, I did. you can grow everything so doggone easy. Not like it is for us in the, out there in Arizona, where you, you have to use everything dry roasted. Even your plants in your yard are dry roasted. Uh, 365 days a year. So looking really good. So yeah, we're gonna get this. Looking really good. Salt. A lot of salt. Yeah, big piece of meat. A lot of salt. We already got the pepper on, right? Sides. Yeah, I got the pepper on, and then salt, both sides. pepper. And do it both sides. Both sides. Yeah. We're not gonna mess around on this video, folks. Maximum flavor. Maximum flavor. Yeah. We are also enjoying a nice uh, night with a bottle of wine with Stella Rosa. Beautiful red wine because we're eating beef tonight. Um, very sweet. I like a sweet uh, wine. So, 
also enjoying that. And as Bert has told Ate Rose, we're, that's Jolly Bee right there. He called me Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. That's funny. That's Jolly Bee right there, man. <laughs> My ratings are going to go through the wall. <laughs> Thanks, Cooey Bert. Appreciate that one. <laughs> yeah. Tons of pepper. Uh, we need some garlic. Yeah, so both sides, salt, pepper, rosemary, thyme, garlic. Like I said, the maximum flavor. He's bringing in the fresh garlic right now. Nice. He's got a knife set that can surgically remove uh, freckles <laughs> off, you know, your forehead. Like I'm looking in the camera right now, going, I "Need to remove some freckles off my face." You know what I'm saying? That's that's in another episode. Anyway, getting that all ready. Yep. Looking good, smelling good already, man. Looking good. So. We're gonna bring this back right before we put these guys in the bag. Olive oil. And, uh, and olive oil? oil. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And olive oil on it. So that is awesome. What Did you use this steak on the last one, Joe? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I tried, the first one I tried, same thing, New York mm -hmm. Strip, and the second one, ribeye. I'm gonna come back to, go back to the New York Strip again. I guess I thought. The ribeye has too much fats last time. Hmm. So I Don't tell that to Rose. I love ribeye. I love ribeye. She's going to make you move out of your own house. <laughs> <laughs> I love ribeyes too. Ooh, but man. I'll tell you. Has, look at that fat right there. A piece right there. It's okay. Fat's good for us. No, it's not. It is well, in videos. You need some fat in your life. I mean, exactly, Joe. You can't just you you can't just eat uh, vegetables. I mean, you'll kill yourself. You need to balance it with fats. That's right. As long as you don't eat it on a daily basis, like have tons of fats. Yeah. Without eating vegetables. Or eat a whole box of Portos. <laughs> <laughs> like At every meal, yeah. like somebody. Like mm. somebody ate a freaking whole box. Don't listen to that person out in the audience. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Not a whole box, just half. Just half the box, yes. yeah. No. Whole box since yesterday. <laughs> half a box yesterday, today another half. Yeah. I told myself I wasn't going to eat on this trip. I know. Hmm. That's yeah. what you yeah, said. Yeah, that's holiday, come on. Yeah. So anyway. It smells good, huh? Smells yeah, good. oh yeah. So he's going to get this all dressed up yeah. and we're going to come right back. We're going to put these babies into the body bag and then we're going to the dump these bag. babies into the ocean. So don't you go away, man. Queen Nation's going to be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. We're about ready to throw some bodies overboard. <laughs> yeah, body bags ready. I got the body bags ready. Yeah, what, 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 don't mess with me, what Joe. Is that two big fans. <laughs> don't, don't mess with us, man. Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna... Wait a second, wait a second. No, we're not there yet. There's not 129. We're almost there. We've got. 5.2. 0.2 degrees, 0.2 degrees, 0.1 degrees. So we have to be very precise. Very precise. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'll just. Coming up. coming up. We also added some butter in there. It's coming up. Now remember, this thing is like Bluetooth. So what is constantly talking to you. <laughs> Non-stop. <laughs> so it's like coming up to your targeted uh, uh, temperature. temperature and says, hey man, one one last check before we take off here. And uh, we noticed there was butter in there. So sure enough, you know, we had to stop. Open the bags back up, throw some butter on the bodies, and uh, seal it back up and get it going. We have reached our target, 129. Oh yeah, here we go. 129 degrees. They shouldn't have talked. All they had to do was one job, just shut up, but they talked. All right, let's do it. Just drop it in. Drop it in. Okay. 
Maybe if I could submerge it in the water. Yep. Bit. And, uh, temp and we set the time. Dropped him in. Now he's going to set the time an hour, an hour and a half? An hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. And then, wow, uh, for the stick? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a long because we have four big pieces. Four yeah. big pieces over one inch thick. Yeah. So, anyway, we're cooking. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to see if this is going to make the perfect steak. We'll see ya. Bye. Okay, guys, we're back. So, Kuya Joe's getting these babies ready. We're going to be putting two of them steaks in each bag into a Ziploc bag. We're going to call this the body bags. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Rosemary and some thyme. Rosemary, thyme, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper. Simple. It smells really, really good. We're gonna lay each one of these guys on top of themselves. And yeah, we have supposed to actually. Get all the air out oh, yeah. as much as possible. Seal it. I think that'll do. Fantastic. Fantastic. One down. So we got one down. One more to go. Got my positioning going all over the place here. Game of four, right? Yep. There you go. Thyme, rosemary, garlic. Right. Right. More garlic. Air out. Seal. Here we go. Done. All right, done. Done. So yes, you know what the pirates say: dead men tell no tales. <laughs> and Joe's gonna make these babies walk right off the ship <laughs> yeah. into the sea. What we have to wait is for the temperature to go up to 129. Oh, okay. And once it's 229, we drop that meat in there. Okay, so just and a little bit. Wait. A little bit closer here. So you see, uh, it's our, this is our target. Target temperature. Uh, current target going on right here, 114.2. Uh, inside there, you can hear the, uh, what do you call it, the impeller in there just moving the, the water around, keeping it at a constant temperature. So. Once that water hits there, man, boom, we're going to go and Joe's going to put it in for an hour and a half. Then it's going to come out and we're going to freaking uh, sear, it. sear it, sear it, and then uh, get it off. So I'll tell you, Rose is over there working head over heels, man, to make a bomb lumpia for tomorrow, for New Year's Eve. Can't wait. Yep. I love lumpia. So we're, we're going to... We're going to stink the house up with lumpia. <laughs> we're going to have to put them outside. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can do that too. <laughs> so we don't stink up the inside. <laughs> I do want Joe and Bert to bring us back out again. I don't want to, hey, you're not coming out of here. So. Oh, well, the house has never smelled so good. Yeah. So. <laughs> so anyway, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to throw the bodies into the, into the bay. So you come right back. <laughs> okay, real quick. Clear. Clear. Joe's getting these out right now. Yeah. Look at that. It will, it will look amazing after we sear it. Yeah. So, looks a little bland right now. Yeah. But, but uh, it will not be, I promise you, it yeah. will be one of the best sticks ever. Yeah. It, they, they did shrink down a little bit. They marinated in their own juice. But they're looking really good. So right now I'm going to go run outside, get some olive oil on the side burner, 
and then um, we're gonna sear these babies. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Smoke is a good sign. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. I mean, it's, it's yeah. oil's running. So oil's running. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's the sound. There we go. Okay, coming up, we went on at 17 seconds. We're gonna do this right to the bone, man. Right to the bone. 10 seconds on. Oh, I know, yeah. And get ready. There you go. We're, we're good to come off. Flip it? Yeah, flip. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. Yes. I know. Yeah, it's a beautiful this is Malachi Young. Huh? This is Malachi Young. <laughs> no, it's the guy guy. Um, the guy guy. <laughs> uh, where else? Barakai. Barakai. Yeah, we're. Oh yeah, I am. So, yeah. Guys, look at that. that is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Yeah, the inventory is very Absolutely awesome, man. Awesome. So get ready, Joe. Oh yeah, we have to flip. Now. Can change this one, though. Now he's going to stand that baby up on the edge. Standing him up. Got to hit that fat. Got to hit that, that fat. That fat can, can take like at least 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh. No. Beautiful. Okay. So that's pretty much where we're at. I don't want to eat up a lot of time here. So um, we got still got two more to go. We're gonna put these things on a plate. We're gonna sit there and get some uh, asparagus going and uh, hopefully have the big grand final taste test. So don't go anywhere. This thing's almost done for the perfect steak. We'll see how it turns out. Get the butter. Okay, the moment. The moment is here. <laughs> The so, moment of truth. The moment of truth. Check this out. This is, what's it, the method Rustic. of this cooking? Oh, Perfect. It's called uh, precision cooking. Precision cooking. There we go. <laughs> New York strip. Whoa. Wow. Now I'm getting that. Look at that pink. Man, not burnt. Seared. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks so tasty. Yeah. <laughs> Cooked for an hour and a half. In a pot, in a bag, raw, no other freaky deaky, uh, out of this world, uh, what do you call it, um, spices or anything like this, beautifully, really beautifully cooked. So then we just took it out there and made it dance on the grill, and uh, that's it. So right now we're just, we're waiting for a teaser, we're going to get everybody's opinion on this thing, and we're going to close this thing out. So. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Put your look at that. Yes. Oh, juice. wow. Wow. Look at those Man, shoes. absolutely insane. Looks absolutely gorgeous. You wouldn't expect this, you know, coming out of a bag. You know, you're you just, you're waiting for it to be seared or whatever, you know, unevenly cooked, but this is like, every piece is the same. Um, okay, sit, enough said. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. Try it, you gotta try it. Here we go. That's a big piece. I know, that's a big piece. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Don't, don't get choked. Oh, no, I won't. My god. It's okay. I'm, I, I'm in a house with nurses, so if I choke, I'm in good hands. Incredible. Highly recommend that. A Nova. Uh, we, that's good. Precise wow. cooking. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Awesome, awesome. Did that? No. You have to try a lot. So, I'm giving this a thumbs up to you, Joe. What's your. Um, 
You give me this a thumbs up? Thumbs oh. up! Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay, we got one more yeah. coming. Good I job. came in. How do you like it? Good. Good. <laughs> like, good. So it's it's over over with. So awesome job. Really enjoyed it. So there you go. Do the steak this way. You'll it's really a weird way, but you'll you'll like it. So we'll see you on the next one guys. Have a good one. This Kui Nation, this Kui Sid, Kui Joe. He's he's digging the steak, man. Chill, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he's having a good time. That's I'm what it's all about. Time, yeah. So we'll see you guys later. We love you to the bone. Hey, have a happy new year by the time you see this. All right, bye-bye.